So, Tom, you mentioned how burn the fat, feed the muscle is based on bodybuilder and fitness model nutrition and training techniques. But there's a question we've both heard for years, and it may be a myth, and it may be a stereotype, but a lot of people still believe it just the same. So I hope you can bring some light onto this. What, what, what do you say when someone says, isn't bodybuilding unhealthy? Yeah, I've heard that myself a lot recently, and I understand why people would think this. But the truth is, bodybuilding is a lifestyle, and it's the healthiest lifestyle in the world if you do it the natural way. And by natural, I mean drug-free, steroid-free, hormone-free. And I think it's also important to point out that bodybuilding is far more than a competition. It is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle where you're combining good nutrition with training for muscle and strength. So I always felt like anybody who was eating nutritious food and they're in the gym working out or at home, they're working out, they're training the muscle, they could call themselves a bodybuilder. And you know, if it doesn't resonate with you because some people don't identify themselves as a bodybuilder, you could do something different. You could say, you know, I'm body sculpting. And that makes some people feel more comfortable. But we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about nutrition and training together. It's not a secret that a lot of bodybuilders take steroids. And steroid abuse can be unhealthy. I mean, uh, other drugs like diuretics that are used for competition, they're actually more dangerous than the steroids. And I think that's the reason that so many people have this generalization that, oh, all bodybuilders use steroids or they create a stereotype like all bodybuilders are unhealthy. But that's kind of like saying, well, all baseball players are unhealthy, isn't it? You know, I mean, the truth is steroids are in almost every sport. It's just that bodybuilders display it in a conspicuous way. So bodybuilding is not inherently unhealthy. Some people just make a poor choice and they do it in an unhealthy way. And it's true of everything in life. I mean, anything can be taken to, it, to an extreme, any sport, any activity. And that's the great thing about Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. There's no extremes in this program. Uh, burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is the sensible middle. It's sensible, it's flexible, and it's 100% natural. You know, I always competed naturally, and I always urged my readers to stay away from drugs. And I've always encouraged everyone that you can build a great body naturally with training and nutrition, and I still do, and and it's part of this book. And the nutrition, it's it's incredibly healthy. Look at bodybuilders, for, they're well known for eating super healthy foods, and that nutrition is so important for the results they get. It's not just in the gym, it's in the kitchen too. And the bodybuilding nutrition style, the fitness model, physique athlete nutrition style, it's actually more flexible than any others. Sometimes you reduce the carbs, but you don't have to, that's optional. And every food group is represented. You got vegetables, you got fruits, the natural starches, the whole grains. I mean, look at how the poor whole grains have been beat up so much in all the other diet programs. You know, nothing is banished from, from this program. It's so balanced. The lean proteins, you have fish, poultry, eggs. If you want to, you can include dairy products. Some people can't eat dairy products because they have lactose intolerance. So it is a health issue for them. But if, if not, you could include dairy products. I mean, this, this really isn't a diet at all. I don't even like the word diet. I'd rather call it a nutrition program because it's all about nutrients and it's about nourishing your body. It's about feeding your muscle and not starving it. And that's the best part about this program. It is healthy, it is balanced, and it is a lifestyle. I mean, I'm proof of that because I haven't competed in eight years, but I'm still eating almost the exact same way as when I was competing. And when I did compete, I didn't go on an unhealthy crash diet. All I did was I increased the focus and the intensity of my training, and I had to reduce my calories. So I had the energy deficit. I needed to burn fat. We all have to do that if we want to burn fat. And if you really think about it, a lot of the most popular fad diets in the weight loss market today, those are really the unhealthy ones. I mean, look at all the diets that just banish and eliminate and demonize entire food groups, or they starve you with 800 or 600 calories a day, or they restrict you to nothing but lemon water or vegetable juice. That kind of dieting is unhealthy. Burn the fat, feed the muscle, the bodybuilder nutrition style program, it's not even about dieting your body down. It's really about building your body up.